14 of them in the second half on Thursday, and his defensive presence played a big role for the Mustangs when they started turning over Oklahoma Wesley in time and again in those final five minutes in the big CBC comeback. Meanwhile, for Freed Hardeman, Hunter Skurlock had 16 points. And speaking of defense, six steals to go with nine rebounds in what ultimately became a one-point Lions win over the upset-minded men from the Masters. Boom. Uh, Central Baptist had an extra letter in there in the in the uh, title card. I don't remember what letter it was. Somewhere in the middle, there was an extra consonant. <laughs> no, dude, I wish you could see some of the title cards that we flew a couple years ago. My God. You used to just not update the teams or they'd like update the name and not the logo or the logo and not the name. Yeah, it was lit. The, uh, the chat is active already. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Abby Kramer. Abby is a senior at Shot Russian South High School. She will be attending the University of Arkansas in the fall and will be studying elementary education. And now, our national anthem.
Auditorium in downtown Kansas City. The NAIA tournament rolls off. Top seeded Freed Hardeman, the 29 and four Lions, taking on one of two remaining double digit seeds in the field. 14 seeded Central Baptist, the Mustangs at 28 and six. This is how the Kramer quadrant of the bracket looks. Freed Hardeman survived against the Masters yesterday. Central Baptist with a furious late comeback to overcome second seeded Oklahoma Wesleyan. And now the first spot in the 2024 Fab Four Monday night will be decided this afternoon in KC. Nate Gatter and our crew with you. Let's meet a couple of the players to watch in this game for CBC Sage Bourbon. Near, averages nearly 15 a game. He went for 19 on Thursday, 14 of them in the second half, and defensively played a major role in that turnover fest that the Mustangs forced from Oklahoma Wesleyan in that furious comeback in the final five minutes. Meanwhile, for Freed Hardeman, speaking of defense, Hunter Skorbach had six steals to go with his 16 points and nine rebounds in what ultimately became a one-point survival for the top-seeded Lions. They were the first of now all four one-seeds to qualify for the quarterfinal today. Freed Hardeman at 29 and 4. A nine game winning streak coming in for the champions of the Mid-South who last year made it here to Kansas City. Lost to Grace in the round of 16. Both are one seeds this year and could be on a collision course in the Fab Four on Monday night. Beat Georgetown for the Mid-South title three weeks ago in Bowling Green. They've topped Loyola, Point Park, and now the Masters to get here to the quarters. Meanwhile, for the Mustangs, the 14 seed in their first trip ever to the round of 16 and now to the quarterfinals in program history. They hammered Missouri Baptist to win the AMC championship two and a half weeks ago. They have beaten Mid-America Nazarene and Bethel before the comeback win over OKWU in the round of 16. A couple of teams uh, who have won a lot of games this year and uh, a rivalry renewed. Old AMC foes who get together again now in the quarterfinals. We are streaming for free on the NAIA YouTube page today, also on NAIA's X page, formerly known as Twitter. And uh, we've gone ahead and left the chat open for you today. So uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Let us know where you're listening from. Let us know uh, maybe score predictions before we get going. Freed Hardeman in white, Central Baptist in blue. Tip is loose and controlled by the Lions. Hunter Skurlock, who we highlighted for you at the outset, joined by Quan Lax, Peyton Law, Riley McLaren, and Devin Tomlinson in the starting five for Drew Stutz in his fifth season as Freed Hardeman's head coach. Tomlinson on the drive all the way to the rim, had it rejected. Turned back by Tomas Mikaiska in transition to Sean Corpru's three rims out. Mikaiska on the glass, but he stepped on the baseline, and it's out of bounds. Comments flowing in from around the country already. Christopher from the Bronx, Jimmy from Valdosta, Abe from Worcester. Skurlock on the cut was fouled. 40 seconds in, we have our first whistle and Bourbon picks up the foul. Orban is joined in the starting lineup by Deshaun Corpru, Devin Foster, Jonas Carlisle, and Tomas Mikaiska. Out of bounds off of Freed Hardeman, so Central Baptist gets it back, still scoreless, nearing a minute plate. The Mustangs trailed by 10 to Oklahoma Wesleyan on Thursday with five minutes to go, and they finish the game on a 19 to four run. A lot of it ignited at the defensive end of the floor. Corpru working on Law, turns the corner, gets inside and scores. Former Texas Tech Red Raider began his college career now close to a decade ago. His third year head coach Sam Conkey calls him the best player in the NAIA. McLaren was looking inside for Skurlock, another Freed Hardeman turnover in the early going. And we get to check out Sam Conkey. 
who has won uh, better than two thirds of his 95 games as Central Baptist head coach. Nothing has come easy for the Mustangs in this tournament. Corporal on the baseline, muscles his way inside, ball loose. Mikaiska was down for it, and a held ball. The possession arrow favors Central Baptist, so the Mustangs will keep it. Meanwhile, Drew Stutz, in his fifth season, the fastest Lions coach ever to 50 wins. They went 25 and 9 last year before that loss to Grace in the round of 16. Bourbon off the ball fake, seven to shoot. Sets up a good look for Devin Foster, who didn't take it. Helps shoot it now, left it short. Rebound off of Law's hand and corralled by McLaren. A moving screen in transition. Devin Tomlinson called for it. That's the first on Fred Hardiman. Let's get a look. And probably a little bit of movement with the upper body. Looked like his legs were set. Corpru, pull up three. Good. Top shot to Sean Corpru, who looks in the mood in the early going. He has all five for the Mustangs and a 14 seed out to an early lead. We are down to eight teams left for a red banner. All four one seeds are still standing. Quan lacks the answer. 39% three point shooter. Redshirt sophomore from Bolivar, Tennessee, averages close to 14 a game. On the drive, Bourbon missed it. Rebound to Tomlinson and Freed Hardeman. Tomlinson lost it out of bounds. A sloppy turnover by the Lions, their third already. Here's Corpru. Just found a little bit of space between Law and Skurlock. Did not hesitate to trigger the three. More of a straightforward look for Lax. But a big answer nonetheless to get Freed Hardeman on the board. Looking for the back cut of Jonas Carlisle. He bangs in on Skurlock, spins to the middle, has it blocked. Mikaiska on the follow, rattles it in with the left hand. <laughs> Harassing defense from CBC. Devin Poster on, Lax all the way up the floor. See the five points off turnovers already for Central Baptist. For a while there, in the late stages on Thursday, ball lost inside, another turnover, but Foster has it poked away and Law can recover. Fresh 30 for Freed Hardeman because possession changed hands, but another Lions turnover. So the two teams exchange turnovers there, two for Freed Hardeman and one for Central Baptist in a span of 10 seconds. Stutz won't be thrilled with five turnovers in just over three and a half minutes to start this game, and he makes some changes. But for a while there in the late minutes on Thursday when Central Baptist was making that big comeback, it didn't seem like Oklahoma Wesleyan could complete a single pass in the front court. And a good chunk of that 19-4 run was Bourbon himself just running out off a steal. So Mikaiska has it stripped, gets it back, and his pass tipped out of bounds. The substitutions for uh, Freed Hardeman. Geraldo Lane is on along with J.J. Wheat, Phil Horton, and Sam Powell. Carlisle couldn't get it in and calls timeout. Chase Fiddler also in there. Mass changes for Freed Hardeman. Central Baptist has... Uh, not yet gone to the bench. Nearly four minutes played, and the Mustangs out to an early four-point lead. Let's preview the rest of the day for you. In my mind, this is the best day of the NAIA tournament because it's the last day that we go back to back to back to back, which feels like still the essence of what we're doing here in Kansas City, but it is uh, the highest quality matchups you're going to get in a full day. Grace and Evangel next. Then Langston and Indiana Wesleyan in the Dewar bracket, the only one that's chalk at this point, one versus two. And then a one versus three matchup in the Liston bracket rounding out the night. Top seeded 
defending champions College of Idaho against third seeded Morningside. Mentioned nothing has uh, come easy for Central Baptists up to this point. They had a win by two, or, or I should, by five, I should say, but where they trailed by 10 with five minutes to go against Oklahoma Wesleyan on Thursday. Before that, by just three over Bethel of Indiana. And before that, they won by double digits for the only time in the tournament over Mid-American Nazarene in the first round, but that game went to double overtime. Corpru rolls in a three from the corner. A pair of triples for Deshaun Corpru in the early going. He has eight of CBC's 10 points, and it's a seven-point Mustangs lead. Lane on the pull-up, got it. Geraldo Lane, the junior from Huntsville, Alabama, averages better than 11 a night. Out of bounds, last off of Corpru, can't believe it. He has a case, too. That looked like it was the left foot of Lane to me. Maybe catches Corpru on the way by. Doesn't look like the spin changes. Tough to tell for sure. But certainly you can understand his frustration. I'm out of Sam Conkey. Left corner three. Sam Powell sticks it. Freed Hardeman back within two. Corpru goes inside, pass deflected, and Fried Hardman comes out the other way. Powell pulls up for the triple, in the lead. The Lions have hit four straight, back-to-back -back Powell triples, and top-seeded Fried Hardman goes on top. Foster thought about it, Carlisle takes it, and hits. Jonas Carlisle, sophomore from San Antonio, 33% three-point shooter, and he puts Central Baptist back in front. Sam Powell with a deep one to give Fried Hardeman the lead, but Jonas Carlisle had the answer. Exciting first five and a half minutes to start quarterfinal Saturday. I told my dad from a young age that I wanted to play ball at the highest level. He told me that hard work and consistency would get me there and that he had a plan to help measure and track my progress. What I found is that the journey is the dream. With the help of the best coaches in America, my father and I launched an app that gives you a plan to become the best that you can be. Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. There are two key moments in any college journey when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. And College App Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College App and breathe easy. Sam Powell with a couple early threes for Freed Hardeman to get the Lions back in front momentarily, but it didn't take long. In fact, just 18 seconds for Jonas Carlisle to answer with a triple of his own and a 13-11 lead for 14th seeded Central Baptist after five and a half. The two teams have combined to make their last seven in a row. Both shooting over 50% of the early going. Freed Hardeman has made all three from deep as well. 
Another turnover. That's been the issue for the Lions. They have six in six minutes. On the break, a hard foul. J.J. Wheat put his left shoulder into Savon Smith, the freshman from Little Rock, just into the game. Lions foul charge number one, J.J. Wheat, is first. Team second. That's the second foul on Freed Hardeman. Central Baptist has been called for two as well. Mustangs also used an early timeout, which probably won't make much of a difference, but just something to keep an eye on if this game does stay close all the way to the end. Especially now that teams only get four timeouts instead of five. Warbon was uh, just hand-checked by Chase Fiddler, and those are kind of ticky-tack fouls in the sense that they don't have a major impact. They're, they're not dramatic collisions, but they're also easy calls for officials because since those freedom of movement rules came in a few years ago, the two hands is just an automatic foul. Bourbon works inside, floater rims out, rebound Powell. Fiddler on the move, looking for a trailing Powell, straight down the paint for the layup that wouldn't go. Tip is good on the second effort by Phil Horton. I think that was three separate shots officially for Fried Hardeman. Whether they give Horton one attempt or two on the tips, we'll see. But either way, the stick to of Phil, Hart, uh, Phil Horton gets us tied up at 13. Carlisle turns the corner. Under control, a leverage drive to the rim rather than a speed drive. High pass pulled in by Lane. He gets it over half court and he's fouled. Kyle Harding goes down in a heap on top of him. And we can look back at Carlisle just methodically. Got the angle on Powell. Some of those guys just have the sense. Once you get a guy on your hip, no need to hurry. Wheat goes inside, Horton turns, has it blocked by Carlisle who recovers. A block shot is worth plenty. A block shot that results in possession is worth plenty more. Lob up top, too tall for Savon Smith. Smith just six foot two, but he can elevate a little too tall even for him. Powell breaks the pressure. And the Lions get into their offense down two after seven and change. J.J. Wheat spins on the baseline, has his shot blocked by Devin Foster, but again, Freed Hardeman sticks with it on the offensive glass. The Lions have out-rebounded Central Baptist seven to four in the early going. That's helped them overcome their six to four turnover disadvantage. Both teams still shooting 50% or better. When they get shots, they're going in, but both have turned it over plenty. Left corner, Foster three is short. And it's rebounded by Lane, who was fouled by Carlisle. That's the fourth foul against Central Baptist in the half. Here's J.J. Wheat, initially blocked by Foster, goes back up over Smith and scores. Sophomore from Clarksville, Tennessee. Average is better than 13. Fiddler, the lone man who stays on as Freed Hardeman makes a bevy of changes again. Lax, Skurlock, McLaren, and Tomlinson return. Four out of the five starters. Only Peyton Law still on the bench for a moment longer for the Lions after eight minutes in a tie game. Lax to McLaren. Six to shoot. Lax with four. Lax attacks all the way to the rim. Left it short. Tomlinson the follow. Offensive rebounds for Freed Hardeman. That's five already in eight and a half minutes and a two point Lions lead. Here's Tanjay Durham. Skip past Corpru, had that hot start. Steps in for two and scores. Deshaun Corpru into double figures already. And he looks calm but confident. Everything in slow motion right now for Corpru. And why wouldn't it be? He's played on some big stages in his career. 
Lacks all the way to the rim. Off the underside, rebound loose, out of bounds off Central Baptist. Sam Conkey is not happy. He says that's two that have gone against him. Certainly, I think based on the replays we saw, it's safe to say that the call uh, that Corpru couldn't believe on the ball off Lane's foot was wrong. That time, to my eye, in real time at least, it looked like it was out off Central Baptist. Tied up after nine minutes. McLaren turns the corner, gets to the rim, missed it. Another offensive rebound. Skurlock couldn't finish, thought he was fouled. Bourbon, Harding on the pull-up, rims out, rebound Tomlinson. Inside, and a banker goes for Lane. That was not an easy finish from Geraldo Lane. He's hit both of his field goal attempts in the early going. Approaching the midway point of the first half. Central Baptist basketball trailing by two. Here's Harding with seven to shoot. On the turnaround, left it short. Rebound corralled by Lane, and the Lions can push. McLaren finds a cutting Skurlock, bangs into Smith, offensive foul. Bang, bang, and Savant Smith gets the call. Geraldo Lane on the attack. He has four points already. 9.51 to go in the first half. Freed Hardeman up two. The first time I picked up a Spartan TF ball, I knew it was built different. You know that feeling from that first moment on. It never leaves your hand. It raises you, lifts you to new heights, got you doing things like that. And once you're hooked, ain't nothing gonna stop that. It teaches you to be a student first, to lay it all out, just to do it again. And again. From the moment you pick up a TF ball, it's always there for you. Now do something with it. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with Huddle Focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the Focus app. Instant uploads and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today. Fred Hardeman leads early, 19 to 17, in large part because of a hot shooting start, much like the Lions got out to against the Masters on Thursday. When they made four of their first five, they've hit their first three from deep in this game. Though both teams have cooled off a little bit since the uh, early shooting numbers when both teams were making 60 plus percent of their field goal attempts in those first few minutes. Central Baptist with the basketball, working against a Fred Hardeman zone look. They switch out of it into man-to-man -man late in the clock. Here's Harding with seven. Harding looking for Corpru. Easy steal for Quan Lax. Fires ahead to Skurlock. Outside Tomlinson. Trailer three is good. The Lions have hit all four of their three-pointers in the first 11 minutes, and they lead by five. First time today, Fried Hardeman has opened it up to a multi-possession lead. Bourbon had that eaten up by Lax. Skurlock, Tomlinson again. Why not? Back-to-back -back triples for Devin Tomlinson. The Lions have hit all five from three-point range. Harding bumped by Tomlinson in a foul. 
Tomlinson's first one, straight on, trailing three. You like your chances there. And again, a good look in transition. Can be the best time to get him. 38% three-point shooter, junior from here in Kansas City. Out of Southwestern Community College in Iowa. He has eight already. Only averages six a game for the season. Good drive by Kyle Hardy. Just got half a step and went on a beeline to the bucket. See if Tomlinson gets another look. He was fired up after that second three, and why not? Lax lost the handle. Harding the other way. Steps by Tomlinson. Fortunate not to pick up his second foul in a matter of seconds. Here's Corpru. Working on Lane. Skip pass Harding. Three on the way. Rebound Lane. Lane gets free in transition. Went for the Euro. Lost it. And it's out of bounds off the Mustangs. So Freed Hardeman will keep it. Then five fouls called on Freed Hardeman, four on Central Baptist. So we're getting toward bonus territory, but not there yet. The Lions do have a rather significant free throw shooting advantage for the season. Tomlinson turns inside, lefty shot, no. Rebound Smith, and he's fouled on the offensive glass by Freed Hardeman. It's either Tomlinson or it's Lax. And Lax gets the foul, his first. Tomlinson has two already. Skurlock and Lax one apiece. Skurlock sits down. Fiddler returns along with J.J. Wheat, Peyton Law, Sam Powell. Lax the only one to stay on the floor. Skurlock, Tomlinson, McLaren, and Lane all make way. CBC has Harding, Carlisle, Smith, Corpru, and Durham on the floor. It's a small five for the Mustangs. Good look, Corpru off the screen. Long rebound out to Harding. Didn't even have to move. Step back triple. Left it short. CBC has gone cold from deep. The Mustangs are now three of 10 from three point range. Meanwhile, Fried Hardeman five for five. And there's a first miss from Lax. Inside seven minutes, first half. Central Baptist is now into the bonus for the rest of the way after that foul on Lax was the sixth on the team. Corpru stops and starts, squeaks past Law, floater no, follows his own miss, goes up in traffic, couldn't get it, rebound tapped, he has it again, and it's eventually controlled by Durham. Harding off a pass fake, lost the handle. Wheat in transition. J.J. Wheat, Euro, right, he reverses good. J.J. Reed, until the last moment, had a mind to pass that to Peyton Law. Look at him. He's smiling and saying to Law, I was going to try to feed you that ball. Instead, he realized he was out of steps and under the rim. Spun it up off the glass. Harding swatted out by Fiddler. Lax, kick out Powell. Three on the way. It is good. A third three-pointer for Sam Powell in just six minutes on the floor, and Fried Hardeman leads by double digits for the first time today. Durham Lobb, Carlisle, bangs into Fiddler, has it blocked, but a foul. And Jonas Carlisle will go to the free throw line. But Fried Hardeman is just making it rain right now. Six threes on seven tries. Powell has three of them. Tomlinson has two. Nine points in six minutes for Sam Powell, who averages five a game. Redshirt freshman from Oldham, Kentucky. That's Powell and it's Tomlinson, who ordinarily combined for 11 points per game. And they have 15 already on five of five three-point shooting. That is a major boost. Carlisle shoots free throws at 70%. He has five points in the early going.
Carlisle splits the pair, gets Freed Hardman lead down to 10. Old AMC rivals back at it in the quarters. Borbon on the steal, and he's bumped by Fiddler in transition and a foul. And Fiddler says, should have seen the, the uh, performance he was just putting on for the official that Borbon likes to throw his head back and shoulders back, try to draw the foul. It's a third personal foul on Fiddler already. It's the eighth on Fried Hardeman. So one and one coming for Borbon, who is a 67% foul shooter. Junior from the Bronx. Tell you what, Mustangs fans, if you got any thoughts for Sam Conkey in the in the chat on what would you be doing to try to slow down this three-point onslaught from Fried Hardeman? On the one hand, the Lions are getting a lot of good looks. On the other hand, I don't know how much can be done about a team making six out of seven threes. And they shoot 35% on the season as a team, perfectly respectable. Borbon gets both. But you don't expect a team to come out and blitz you for 86% from the three-point line. Lax working on Smith. And the foul goes on Savon Smith, the freshman, his first. Only the fifth against Central Baptist. So still one more to give for the Mustangs over the final five and a half before halftime. All four top seeds have made it here to the quarters. Skurlock inside, couldn't get it, affected by Carlisle. Fred Hardeman, after becoming the first to punch its ticket to the quarters, trying to be the first to go to the Fab Four. Inside, Mikaiska, and he is fouled. Whitesville charge to number 13, Riley McLaren, his first. Team's ninth. 5 13 to go, first half. Two shots. 70% foul shooter on the year. For the senior from the Czech Republic. CBC starting to get to the line, which is helpful. The Mustangs haven't made a field goal for almost three and a half minutes. They've missed six in a row and nine of their last 10, but they've been able to get to the foul line now in the bonus. And they're now five of six at the stripe. So they've gone on a 5-0 run exclusively from the free throw line to get it back down to a six point deficit after Fried Hardeman had gone up by 11. Here's McLaren. Skurlock has not yet scored after his 16 and nine. Powell from silly range off the mark. Skurlock offensive rebound and the stick back. That is what's been doing the damage for Fried Hardeman. 14 rebounds have gone up on that end of the floor. Fried Hardeman has seven. Central Baptist has seven. 50% is not a good mark. Defensive rebound wise. Carlisle, skip pass Smith. Off a jab step, drive, layup, no. Rebound controlled by Powell. McLaren on the cut, leaves it for Skurlock, who scores. Four quick ones for Skurlock, and the Freed Hardeman advantage is back to double digits off a nice feed from Riley McLaren, who has been very unselfish, the junior from Eagleville, Tennessee. Been a ball mover so far at the offensive end for the Lions. Inside four minutes to play until the break. Central Baptist back down double digits. And a lob pass to the corner for somebody. Sails out of bounds. Seventh Central Baptist turnover and a field goal drought that now is close to five minutes. Lions up by 10.
have a little birthday message for you from someone too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. Freed Hardeman, thanks to three three-pointers from Sam Powell. Another couple from Devin Tomlinson out to a 10-point lead. Those two have combined for 17 of Freed Hardeman's 34 points in the first half. Ordinarily, they score 11 for the Lions each night. Freed Hardeman basketball inside four minutes to play first half, up by 10. Inside Skurlock, that's six straight for him after a slow start. Senior from Nashville averages 10 a game. He now has six. Foster on the baseline, draws a double, pass deflected out of bounds by the Lions. Central Baptist will keep it. Field goal drought is now over five minutes. Corpru dominated early, step back. From the baseline, and it's good. Powell, a deep one. Again! Sam Powell's fourth three-pointer of the first half. And just after Corpru finally got a field goal to go for Central Baptist, Fried Hardeman opens it back up to 13. This must be so disheartening for the Mustangs defensively. Fried Hardeman just stepping farther and farther from the basket. Seven for nine from three as a team. Foster with eight to shoot. Orban gets inside, throws it up and scores. It just crawls over the front rim. Great defense by Powell, but the five foot nine Orban got it to go. He has four. It's an 11 point lead for Fried Hardeman. McLaren turns the corner on Barbon. Couldn't get the layup, but he's fouled. Asked uh, those of you in the comments uh, what you would do to try to slow things down offensively for uh, for Fried Hardeman in these threes. And uh, what's a good point, Josh Huncho? I apologize if I get any of your names wrong. I'm doing the best we can. Uh, Josh Huncho said, uh, you know, that, that CBC could slow the offense down a little bit. I don't think that's a bad idea because it's true that a bunch of those three-pointers came in transition for Freed Hardeman. In fact, I think all the Powell's did in, until that last one. And the Mustangs have gotten a little bit deeper in the shot clock on their last few possessions. And a good point as well from the commenters about Wade Williams missing. Averages 10 and a half a game for Central Baptist. Went for a team-high 20 in the round of 16 win on Thursday. We were not told anything about his status. Talked to Sam Conkey before the game. He didn't mention anything about Wade Williams not being available, but we have not seen him in this game. Lax drives, the reverse, no, but a foul. And Lax will shoot two. We will try to get an update at halftime if possible. I'll let you know on the on the status of Wade Williams, whatever is made available to us will be passed on to you. Lax first free throw is good. 76% foul shooter this season. He has five points in this opening half. Make it four, I should say. One of four from the field. It was a three-pointer. And now five points with a pair of free throws. 15-point advantage for Freed Hardeman. That's the largest of the day for the Lions at this point, trying to become the first team to move into the Fab Four, which will be played Monday night after the teams take tomorrow off. Well-deserved off day, you'd have to say, particularly for the four teams playing in our latter two games tonight who will be going back-to-back. Bourbon off a ball fake, took a hit, count the basket. That foul, I think, is going to go on Lax, which will be his second. Indeed, it's Quan Lax who picks up the foul. 
And Bourbon negotiating his way to the rim and finishing after a hit. So Bourbon goes to the stripe. Missed the free throw. Powell the rebound. Lane on Carlisle. Fall away from the right elbow. Grazes the rim. Carlisle has the rebound. Central Baptist basketball in the final minute. Corpru drives, lost it. Lane the other way. Four on two. McLaren, spot up triple. Good. One transition three after another for the top seeded Lions. They lead by 16 on eight of 10 three point shooting in the first half. Carlisle had it knocked out of his hands. Freed Hardeman going quickly again. McLaren, why not? This time off the mark. Skurlock runs down the rebound, and the Lions can hold for the final shot. Central Baptist led by as many as seven early in this game. It was 10 to three Mustangs. Since then, Freed Hardeman has outscored Central Baptist 43 to 20 over the final 15 minutes of this first half and a timeout taken by Drew Stutz to set up what he wants on this final shot. The, uh, the shot clock was off for a moment. It has since uh, reset, and I don't think it should have. They've got 14 on the shot clock right now, which I think is a mistake because the shot clock reset on an offensive rebound to 20, but it's not supposed to reset and cost you time. And that differential was initially five or six seconds between game and shot clock. So I think the shot clock actually could have just, should have kept running. McLaren, when he took that three, I think had more like 23 or 24 seconds on the shot clock. It's only supposed to reset to 20 if the clock is under 20 and it's giving you some time back. But nobody seems to be disputing it for Freed Hardeman. So in the end, actually, this sort of works out for Central Baptist. They would have obviously rather had that rebound off the miss. But the differential is a little bit wider now to increase the chance that the Mustangs get a final shot here before the end of the half. Lax is gonna run the clock down a little bit. Five to shoot, switch on to Bourbon. McLaren with three, McLaren with two, McLaren a force, missed it, rebound loose. McLaren, or rather Skurlock saves it, but it's off lane and out of bounds with two and a half seconds to go. Wasteful from Central Baptist to allow the offensive rebound and cost themselves some time, but uh, sloppy from Freed Hardeman, really the only area where the Lions have struggled in this first half, 10 turnovers, but they've also forced 10. So what was at one point a significant CBC advantage in that regard is gone. Bourbon, half court heave, almost got it. What a counter had it gone. But ultimately, that sums up the first half. Central Baptist, three of 11 from three-point range. Freed Hardeman made eight of 11. The Lions can shoot it, and they'll fire away from volume. One transition, three after another. Top seed up 16. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with huddle focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the Focus app, instant uploads, and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today. I told my dad from a young age that I wanted to play ball at the highest level. He told me that hard work and consistency would get me there and that he had a plan to help measure and track my progress. What I found is that the journey is the dream. With the help of the best coaches in America, my father and I launched an app that gives you a plan to become the best that you can be. There are two key moments in any college journey, when an acceptance letter arrives and the day the college education is paid off. 
and College Ave Student Loans is with you to help cover costs all along the way. We offer stress-free private student loans for undergrads, grad students, for parents, even loans to refinance your existing loans. Whether you're starting college, already in the workplace, or just trying to figure things out, turn to College Ave and breathe easy. I have a little birthday message for you from someone too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. What does it mean to be you at CU? Anything you want. At Clark University, we empower you to pursue your dreams. You can double major and get involved. The arts, athletics, campus ministry, you name it. You can do all the things you love with people we know you'll love even more. And with Clark's group and Build Your Own Visit events, you can get in on the fun right now. Schedule your visit today and find out how you can be you at CU. The landscape of sports is changing. AI is the next evolution. We're bringing it to fields and gyms everywhere with Huddle Focus. Just mount it, set it, and forget it. Multiple lenses, AI player tracking, automatic recording, or record on the fly with the Focus app. Instant uploads and flexible live streaming options. AI is changing sports. Use it to your advantage. Visit huddle.com slash focus today. In the heart of the Midwest is a college that's different, where students work for their education instead of paying tuition, where teaching Christian character is just as important as academics, and where future leaders learn from world leaders. A college where our love for America is celebrated by preparing students to take their role in American history. This is College of the Ozarks, and this is where lives are changed. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Kansas Wesleyan is an exciting university and a vibrant community. It offers unique, nationally ranked academic programs, engaging activities, and successful athletic teams. KWU combines all of these strengths to open doors for your future. Learn more today at kwu.edu. I have a little birthday message for you from someone, too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome.
First time I picked up a Spartan TF ball, I knew it was built different. You know that feeling from that first moment on, it never leaves your hand. It raises you, lifts you to new heights, got you doing things like that. And once you're hooked, ain't nothing gonna stop that. It teaches you to be a student first, to lay it all out, just to do it again. And again. From the moment you pick up a TF ball, it's always there for you. Now do something with it. I told my dad from a young age that I wanted to play ball at the highest level. He told me that hard work and consistency would get me there, and that he had a plan to help measure and track my progress. What I found is that the journey is the dream. With the help of the best coaches in America, my father and I launched an app that gives you a plan to become the best that you can be. When I grow up, I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a scientist. I want to be an artist. At Spring Arbor University, we help you grow your childhood dreams into a reality. Surrounded by faculty, staff, and other students who will genuinely care for and about you, you can become more than you ever imagined. Let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. Whips it in, and it's in the back of the net! The first time I picked up a Spartan TF ball, I knew it was built different. You know that feeling? From that first moment on, it never leaves your hand. It raises you, lifts you to new heights, got you doing things like that. And once you're hooked, ain't nothing gonna stop that. It teaches you to be a student first, to lay it all out, just to do it again. And again. From the moment you pick up a TF ball, it's always there for you. Now do something with it. I told my dad from a young age that I wanted to play ball at the highest level. He told me that hard work and consistency would get me there, and that he had a plan to help measure and track my progress. What I found is that the journey is the dream. With the help of the best coaches in America, my father and I launched an app that gives you a plan to become the best that you can be.
First time I picked up a Spartan TF ball, I knew it was built different. You know that feeling from that first moment on, it never leaves your hand. It raises you, lifts you to new heights, got you doing things like that. And once you're hooked, ain't nothing gonna stop that. It teaches you to be a student first, to lay it all out, just to do it again. And again. From the moment you pick up a TF ball, it's always there for you. Now do something with it. Recent congressional testimony of three elite university presidents who could not condemn the genocide of the Jewish people only exacerbates the view that higher education is not doing what it's supposed to do for this country. Based on the Catholic intellectual tradition, at St. Thomas University, we don't tell you what to think, we teach you how to think. So if you want to learn how to think for yourself, think critically, and be educated to become an ethical leader for the global community, STU is for you. I have a little birthday message for you from someone too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a little birthday message for you from someone too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. Back in Kansas City at the half of our first of four quarterfinals today at Municipal Auditorium downtown. Top seeded Fried Hardeman trailed 10 to 3 early. After that, it was all Lions up 46 30 on 14th seeded Central Baptist at the half. In the early going, it was Deshaun Corpru who really uh, paced the Mustangs. He had eight of those initial 10 points for them. He finished with a dozen in the first half, though he did turn the ball over four times in his 16 minutes. Central Baptist down by 16 at the half. Meanwhile, for Fried Hardeman, hard to pick out a particular player, but it was the three-point shooting. The Lions made eight triples on 11 attempts. Four of them came from Sam Powell, a couple from Devin Tomlinson, a lot of damage done in transition. Riley McLaren hit one as well to make an eight out of 11 for Fried Hardeman from behind the three-point line in the first half. The Lions also out-rebounded Central Baptist 22 to 12. And you can see it was not the cleanest first half. 10 turnovers for both teams. Neither coach going to be particularly happy about that. Central Baptist shot 41% from the field overall. Fried Hardeman 50%. Nate Gatter, our crew, back with you. Still no official update on uh, Wayne Williams, but the understanding is that the leading scorer for Central Baptist from Thursday night when uh, Williams went for a game-high 20 points, 15 of which came in that second-half Mustangs comeback, is not going to be available in this game for the 14th seed. Again, though, no matter what happens in this game, Central Baptist has uh, a ton to be proud of. First trip to the round of 16 in school history, let alone here the quarterfinals. So two rounds further than the Mustangs have ever been. Fried Hardeman trying to break new ground. Lax lost the basketball off of himself, or uh, rather I should say off of CBC. 20 to shoot, and Fried Hardeman will keep it.
Quarterfinals not new for the Lions, but the Fab Four would be. A win would earn them a day off tomorrow and a date on Monday night with the winner of our next game. Top seeded Grace and 15th seeded Evangel. McLaren's pass batted loose. They're after it on the floor. Law has to hoist at the end of the shot clock. Would have been a backbreaker for the Mustangs had that gone down. One of the better defensive possessions Central Baptist has had so far tonight. Inside Corporu missed the layup. Rebound McLaren ripped away. Underneath Skurlock finds a cutting law for the stop. 18 point Fried Hardeman lead. Borbon turns the corner, his pass stolen. Lax comes the other way. Ahead to Law, went up for the jam, and he's fouled by Foster. The taste of the dunk gave Law the impetus to go for another. This one easy as you like. In transition then, he went for the, the second stuff, and that time was fouled. Peyton Law, sophomore, 6'7", from Calhoun, Georgia. Averages seven and a half a game. 69% foul shooter. Freed Hardeman by 20. Stretch pass Carlisle. Corpru. Law got there in time to stop him from shooting the three that he wanted. Bourbon off the skip pass, got backboard first, and Law the rebound. Law has it poked away by Corpru. Goes behind his back on Lax, lost the ball, and is taken back by Skurlock. We've seen a few of those dueling turnover moments in this game. And a timeout by the referees for Corpru, who was hurt. You can understand Drew Stutt's frustration with that, as Corpru had been running in the open floor a moment prior, but he had been reaching down at his leg and gesturing to the bench before he got the steal that he needed to come off. And certainly with a 20-point lead, you would think Drew Stutz can probably tolerate one call or two that he doesn't particularly agree with at this stage of the game. Head and shoulder fake by Law. Backs in on Carlisle. Tomlinson drives on Harding. Had it knocked loose by Foster. Last off Tomlinson. Who uh, understandably does not agree. He had eight points, three rebounds in the first half. Including a couple of threes. Needs to be careful though, because he does get a little bit worked up and you could see and hear him slap his own arm there. That can be something that sometimes gets officials fired up. Tomlinson switches onto Bourbon. Carlisle spins back to the rim. Righty layup, no, but a foul on Skurlock. That's his second. And Fried Hardeman's first since halftime. Got a lot more great basketball still to show you today. Next game is top seeded Grace against 15 seed Evangel. It's a funny part of this bracket, particularly here on the left side. It's mostly chalk on the right side, a one, a two, a one, and a three. But on the left side, both one seeds made it, and they're playing a 14 in Central Baptist and a 15 in Evangel. Carlisle in his second trip to the line. He's two for three so far. Give him eight points now. And four rebounds today. Maybe all that the Mustangs can do at this stage is try to turn up that pressure that served them so well on Thursday against Oklahoma Wesleyan. Allowed them to ignite a 10-point comeback in the final five minutes, finish the game at a 19-4 run to get here to the quarterfinals for the first time in school history. McLaren cuts back door, shields the ball from Carlisle, but couldn't finish. Harding on the run out. Bourbon puts his head down. He's bumped and fouled by Law on the floor. No shot. Line 
Lions foul charge number two, Peyton Long, his first, team second. Carlisle in for Harding. Man by Skurlock, draws it. Tomlinson as a second defender. Swing it around Smith, baseline drive. Savon Smith through contact and a foul. Skurlock picks it up. That's his second in quick succession and his third in the game. And it brings Chase Fiddler off the bench to the scorer's table where he will wait to check in, you'd imagine, for Skurlock. And Savon Smith to the free throw line for the first time. He shoots at just 38% on the season. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the first one. Checking in for three, me. Number four, Geraldo Lane. And number five, Chase Fittler. Two more one seeds in action later this evening. Langston against second seeded Indiana Wesleyan in the Dewar quadrant. And then our nightcap. The defending champs, College of Idaho, against third-seeded Morningside in the listing quadrant. A couple of smooth free throws go down for Savon Smith, looking nothing like a 38% foul shooter. Corner three, Chase Fiddler is good. Eight threes in the first half for Freed Hardeman. There's the first of the second half. Harding, Euro, finds a back cutting Smith, bangs into Fiddler and scores off glass. Timeout taken by Sam Conkey and Central Baptist. Three and a half minutes played in this second half. Central Baptist has it at 17. Fiddler, 34% three point shooter this year. Gets his first bucket of the game. Freed Hardeman is led by as many as 20 early in the second half. And the threes keep falling. They're 9 of 13. Let's get to know Central Baptist. Trailing by 17 with 16.29 to go in the game. But on a stage that... This team has never seen in its history here in Kansas City. Only 881 students in Conway, Arkansas, making their fifth ever appearance in this tournament. The first time they've made it to the round of 16. And now the first time for the quarterfinals in program history. No matter what happens in this game, 28 wins, a quarterfinal berth, an AMC title by 33 points over Missouri Baptist. A lot to like. Tomlinson throws it up high for Lane. Had to come down with it, and he's stripped by Harding. Carlisle wanted it for a moment. The defense adjusts. Savon Smith draws Tomlinson. For Bond. Left it short. Rebound. Corralled by Tomlinson off a tip. Four minutes played, second half. Freed Hardeman by 17. Lane has a size advantage on Bourbon, puts him on the ground, no whistle either way, and he banks it in. Sam Conkey put both his arms out skyward, saying where's the foul? Bourbon probably didn't have a lot of other options. 5-9 guarding 6-5 on the block. Here's Harding, step back, triple on the way, way short, Tomlinson has it, and a foul. Carlisle picks it up. That's his second. His second on CBC since halftime. Freed Hardeman's been called for three. Drew Stutz's Lions, maybe not on the verge yet of their first Fab Four, but they can see it from here. Fiddler, three. He gets the chef's kiss on his way back after making it a 22-point Lions lead, their largest of the day, on their 10th three-pointer on only 14 tries. Bourbon slashes. Bourbon through contact. He scored for the right block. Not sure Bourbon could even see the rim. Smith harassing Lax. Fiddler wants a deep one. 
just grazed the right side of the rim on a heat check. Get another look at that Fiddler three, and then how about the celebration as well? He splashes it from the right wing. He says, I love how that tastes. Takes us into a break. 14.41 to go in the game. Freed Hardeman, the top seed, up by 20. I have a little birthday message for you from someone, too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. Whips it in, and it's in the back of the net! Chase Fiddler has hit two threes in the second half. Freed Hardeman has hit 10 on 15 tries in the game. The Lions are shooting 51% from the field, 67 from three, and they've all, it made all six of their free throws. Carlisle, corner triple, too strong. Bill Horton, three rattles out. His first try of the day, 32% shooter from deep. Redshirt sophomore from Memphis. Carlisle draws a double. Harding, one for seven so far, make it one for eight. And it's rebounded by J.J. Wheat, who has been quiet, four points. And that's his second rebound so far for Freed Hardeman. Average is better than 13 a game. Sophomore from Clarksville. Fiddler cuts back door, easy as you like. Bounce feed from Horton, and Fiddler has eight points since halftime to make it a 22-point Freed Hardeman advantage once again. Bourbon has it blocked by Horton. Still loose and eventually taken by Wheat for FHU. Lane to the rim, Lane is fouled. Morbon picks up the foul, his third with 13.26 to go. It's the third on Central Baptist since halftime, three on Freed Hardeman as well. And two shots now for Lane. His first trip to the line today, 73% on the year. Freed Hardeman still has not missed at the stripe in this game, seven for seven. And there's the first miss. Rebound tapped out of bounds by Horton. So Central Baptist will get it. Only so many options at Sam Conkey's disposal, especially since Deshaun Corpru left the game, favoring his leg. Now back on. There was not a lot at this end of the floor for Central Baptist in his absence. He is the clear focal point. Had 18 and 10 Thursday. Fires away, way short. Central Baptist just three of 16 from three-point range. Powell, Corpru the rebound. They called that a two for Corpru out of the short corner, so officially three of 15 they are. Now three of 16.
Fiddler gets a screen. Fiddler the floater. Little short. Weak side offensive rebound. Horton took a bump. Couldn't finish. Rebound out of bounds off of Wheat. And Central Baptist will get it. With 12.26 to go in the game. Trailing by 23. Largest deficit the Mustangs have faced. Corpru back on the floor, but he has been banged up. Carlisle was just bending over, holding his midsection. Haven't seen Wade Williams in this game at all for Central Baptist. Harding lost the handle, pulls it back in, throws it underneath to Smith. Layup blocked by Horton and rebounded by Lane. The slip by Harding nearly worked in the Mustangs' favor in the end. Lane on the baseline. Smith takes a swipe at it and fouled it. Smith was in good position, but not often, especially without an emphatic connection with the ball, are you going to get away with a full arm swing like that. Mustangs fell charges on Smith. The second to expect it. Draw the lanes of the line, two shots. That's the second on Smith, and Lane is back at the line where he just split a pair a moment ago. Checking in for Central Baptist, number 35, Tomas McKeesman, and number 5, Tom J. Toro. Corpru and Bour Bourbon will sit for at least some period of time. I wouldn't think Sam Conkey is waving the white flag with 12 minutes to go, but maybe just an acknowledgement that it's not working right now for CBC and might as well get at least a couple of minutes of rest for his two focal points in the backcourt. Harding pull up three, contested by Fiddler, way off. Rebound Carlisle, has that swatted by Lane. Good look for Durham. Gets it back. Fourth try goes down. Three offensive rebounds for the Mustangs and Tanjay Durham puts one down for the right baseline. Senior from Richmond, transferred from Metro State. Timeout, Sam Conkey. Durham chasing his own miss. Nice little floater from 10. That's the penultimate timeout taken by Conkey. His Mustangs had to overcome a 10-point deficit against Oklahoma Wesleyan in the final five minutes and the round of 16 on Thursday. But they weren't relying on threes in that game the way they have been in this game, just three of 18 from deep. It was turnovers they forced, and they were able to get plenty of Fried Hardeman turnovers in the early going of this game. That's part of how they built the 10-3 to lead. Since then, they've been outscored 60-30. to doesn't look like Fried Hardeman is going to turn the ball over to the degree that Oklahoma Wesleyan did down the stretch, which ultimately unlocked the Mustangs' comeback. But there's some good pressure and a trap, and the ball out of bounds off CBC. That could be the way. And, of course, Fried Hardeman deserves a ton of credit for just how efficient they've been, especially from three. 10 out of 17, and there's a sloppy turnover. So as soon as they say that, they get caught in a trap, almost turn it over, and then Sam Powell throws it out of bounds. But a 23-point lead for the top-seeded Lions, who, if they move on, would play on Monday night, back here on the NAIA YouTube channel for free, and streaming on the NAIA X page, formerly known as Twitter. Harding steps in, it's a two. Rebound corralled by Chase Fiddler. He thought about that three. Hit a couple earlier in this half. Powell's been hot as well. Lane puts his head down, cups the ball in his right arm, and he's fouled. Foul goes on Kyle Harding. That's his second. And the fifth against the Mustangs in the second half. Five o'clock Central Time tip in our first semifinal Monday evening. This time Fiddler will take the three, rebounded by Harding. The winner of this game against the winner of our next one. Durham's three is off. 
Rebound batted out by Smith. Harding. Smith fans back. Eight to shoot. Carlisle sets up Durham. Four to shoot. Durham all the way in with the lap. Couldn't get it. But the rebound of the stick back. Good for Tomas Mikiska. Twenty-one point game with 10-15 to go, and a foul on Durham in transition. That's the sixth against Central Baptist, so no free throws yet. But Fried Hardeman will be in the bonus for the final 10-14. Next up is top seeded Grace, 15th seeded Evangel. Grace looks like one of the best teams in this tournament. But Evangel, coming from Springfield, already had strong fan support on Thursday in the quarterfinals of a ball fake fiddler. Got the three. He kisses his three fingers to the sky again. 24 point lead for Fried Hardeman. Double clutch by Harding and he's fouled. So for whatever that fan support might be worth, the 15th seeded Valor of Evangel, hoping it can keep them in the game against top seeded Grace coming up next. We still have 9.53 to go here. An 11 three pointer for Fried Hardeman. The third for Fiddler. And it's a 24 point lead for the top seeded Lions. I have a little birthday message for you from someone too. I heard you really love basketball. You're a good shooter and a good dribbler. Happy birthday, MJ, and hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. You're welcome. From our first day, Roosevelt has been a place for all. Before it was widely accepted, Dr. Edward Sparling stood for social justice. When asked to take a racial and religious census, he simply responded, we don't count that way. And 62 faculty members walked out with him. Together, they founded Roosevelt University, a place for you to belong. since halftime. He was scoreless at the break, averages seven a game for the year. The transfer from Flagler College in Florida, but he's put up 11 since the break. Three three-pointers, plus that back cut layup. Fried Hardeman now 11 of 19 from three as a team. Yeah, and this has allowed Drew Stutz to rest a lot of his starters. None of his starters have played more than six minutes. In the second half, he has a full bench lineup on the floor at the moment, with the exception of Quan Lax. He's the, the leading minute getter among the starters in the second half with those six minutes. Nobody else played more than four. Skurlock and McLaren have played only three minutes each. And uh, at this stage of the season, with as intense a schedule as it is in the tournament, here's Horton. Outside Powell, off and up fake. Horton is fouled by Durham. With intense a schedule as it is at this stage, I think it's hard to overstate the value of taking 10, 15 minutes in the second half off of those guys' legs. Keep them off their feet all day tomorrow. I don't know if Drew Stutz is checking stats or whatever, but he's, he was just looking at his phone during these free throws. Checking in for Central Baptist, three, Must be looking at a box score of some kind. 20, Jonas but it does look funny. Just associate certain things, right? Because if he was looking at an iPad that somebody had handed him, like, you know, NFL or NBA coaches do all the time, nobody would think anything of it. Because it's a phone, you're wondering, 
His stuts on Instagram. Something humorous. Plenty of reasons to smile for the Lions. Up by 25, nine and a half to go. Borbon saves it at half court to Durham. Carlisle fouled. Horton just got him. At the uh, Freed Hardeman bench, you could hear them react, and Drew Stutz just turned and waved them down. Either he agreed it was a foul, or he just uh, didn't want them aggravating the officials with a 25 point lead. Carlisle kicks for Bond. Foster, three, good. <laughs> Haven't been many threes for Central Baptist in this game, just four on 20 tries, but Devin Foster gets one to go. Horton, rim runs to the other end. <laughs> Tipped away by Lax and stolen from Bourbon. Lead pass for Lane, leaves it for Horton, spins to the rim and scores. Perhaps overly aggressive from Lax, but an impressive save by Lane. Almost reminds me of that Eli Doble play from last night in the final uh, round of 16 game. Thomas, nice little move. I should say Tanjay Durham on the move to the rim. Skip pass, Powell, three on the way. Missed it strong, rebound loose. Lane pulls it in. Lax thought about it. Use a few more seconds and he gets the layup instead. Eight minutes to go and Fried Hardeman leads by 26 once more. Durham, the floater banks in. Back to back buckets for Tanjay Durham who has six. Well, this press for CBC is just not causing Freed Hardeman the same problems that it did Oklahoma Wesleyan on Thursday night. And Horton fouled by Bourbon. That's his fourth. And it sends Horton to the free throw line where he's made both of his attempts so far in this game. Freed Hardeman is 11 of 12 at the stripe. Ten players have appeared for Freed Hardeman. They've all scored at least four points. And in fact, uh, really the bench has done the majority of the work because of how comfortable this has been for the Lions since the late stages of the first half. The bench has scored 45 of the 75. Tip by CBC, won't go down. Corporu took it to the rim. Devin Jefferson tried to follow it. And an offensive foul called against Freed Hardeman away for the ball. Geraldo Lane, or Geraldo Lane, I should say. Kyle Harding returns for Central Baptist. Tomlinson back on for Freed Hardeman. Corpru had it swiped by Fiddler, out of bounds, last off the Lions. And Central Baptist gets it back. Here's Harding, he has not been shy at this end. Gets inside, can't get it. Rebound, Karam's out to him. Bourbon thought about it. Corpru drives on lane, looking for a cutting Jefferson. Tomlinson didn't see the lurking Tanjay Durham. 
Durham hesitates and drives, spinning to the rim. Jefferson went for another emphatic follow. Sloppy pass stolen by Bourbon. Pulls up just inside the elbow, got it, plus the foul. Sage Bourbon into double figures with 10. He's made two of three of the free throw line. Foul went on Fiddler, his fourth. And Bourbon completes the three-point play. He has 11 points, one off Deshaun Corpru's team high 12. But Corpru, unfortunately for Central Baptist, has not scored since halftime. And has hardly scored since those first few minutes. He had eight of the first 10 for the Mustangs. Beautiful feed to Tomlinson, who's fouled by Thomas. Or by Durham, I should say. That's the uh, third foul on Tanjay Durham. Mustangs on charge number five, Tanjay Durham, his third. And Fried Hardeman uses a timeout. You can see the numbers on Corpo. He started so well. Ten points on his first five shots, just two on the eight attempts since. Average five points a game for Texas Tech on their national title game run back in 2019 when they came up just one game short of a championship. Been part of a historic run by any measure for Central Baptist as well. But Fried Hardeman just too much today. Still six minutes to go. And we did have a, maybe not a miraculous, but a very impressive Central Baptist comeback on Thursday, but it only overcame 10 points. Devin Tomlinson at the free throw line. First trip there today for him. He has made 15 out of 20 on the season. The junior from here in Kansas City. Doesn't spend a lot of time at the foul line generally. Looks like they sent Harding to the bench to clean up something on his leg. If anybody's got any picks for uh, the Grace Evangel game coming up next, we'd love to hear them. Or what about national championship picks? Who's going to hang the red banner this year? The College of Idaho, after 35 straight wins en route to the title last season, pulled it off again. They certainly look convincing. Madonna hung around uh, last night for a while. In fact, it was only a two-point game of the half, as you see them continuing to work on Harding's leg. College of Idaho in the end pulled away, outscored Madonna by 20 in the second half. Tomlinson off on the first free throw. But Fried Hardeman has been very good at the line. 12 out of 15. Tomlinson splits them. Lions a 73% free throw shooting team on the season. They've exceeded that by a little bit in this game. And Fried Hardeman inside six minutes from its first Fab Four appearance in school history. Devin Jefferson cuts back door and scores, plus the foul. Devon Jefferson has been aggressive. Whether he's getting the ball or not, he's been cutting to the rim, including on the offensive glass. He's elevated for every would-be offensive rebound. And he gets a three-point play, well-deserved for the energy that he's brought these first few minutes on the floor. Skurlock under pressure. Lane flings it ahead to Fiddler. The Lions will use some clock. Skurlock working on Harding. Law, open three. Missed it. 
Rebound tracked down by Bourbon. He gets low in transition. Stutter steps and goes. Pulls up from the mid post right. Missed it. And Law has the rebound. Lane all the way in on Jefferson. Nice layup. He just squeaked by Jefferson at the end. And snuck it up with the left hand. 11 points for Lane. Joins Fiddler in double figures among the five on the floor for the Lions at the moment. Nice drive by Durham. Tante Durham has been good. He has eight points in 15 minutes. He's added a couple of rebounds. He has fouled three times. There's a foul that goes, uh, I think, on Bourbon, and that's going to be uh, his fifth. They've got him down for three on the official stats, but I believe they announced him for a fourth last time, unless the officials change it. We'll check it after the break. Geraldo Lane and Fried Hardeman up 20. Your journey to become a nurse or advance your practice as a nurse begins at the University of St. Mary. For over a decade, students have chosen USM, not just because of our reputation in nursing education, but because of our approach to teaching and learning. Individualized, accredited, cutting edge, applicable. Opportunity awaits you here. Choose your path and prepare to change lives. University of St. Mary, stmary.edu slash nursing. It begins as all great things do, with the flicker, a spark of hope, a moment when you realize that given the right conditions, everything is possible. Here, we think the best way to find yourself is to look beyond yourself, because what defines greatness is a single choice, to not condemn the darkness, but to light a fire. Back in Kansas City, day three of the final side of the 2024 NAIA tournament. Top seeded Fried Hardeman is four minutes and 53 seconds from locking in the first spot in this year's Fab Four on Monday night. Would be the first trip to the Fab Four in program history. Lions made it here to KC last year. Lost to Grace in the round of 16. Could well find themselves and a rematch with Grace this time in the Fab Four. The Lancers are coming up next against 15th seeded Evangel. It was the fourth foul on Bourbon. They must have changed that earlier one. He was sitting on three fouls. They put it on a different Mustang, so he stays in the game. Harding hasn't been able to get the shots to fall tonight. That one's off. Offensive rebound of the stick back by the uh, Czech senior Tomas Makiska, who has been uh, relentless on the offensive glass. And a foul on Harding. That's his third. Make it Durham. That's his fourth. One line, two shots. Lacks three of three at the stripe now today. Make it four of four and a 21 point Freed Hardeman lead. Bourbon took a little hit to the face from Lax. Durham on the step back. Got it for three. Tanjay Durham has 11. He joins Bourbon and Deshaun Corpru in double figures. He's been efficient too. Five of nine. It's his first three-pointer that's gone down. 
Lions using some clock. Geraldo Lane. Tomlinson with six. Backs in on Jefferson. Tomlinson with three. With two. With one. Puts it up and it rolls around and out. Durham thought about it. Durham takes it. Front iron. Harding offensive rebound. Step through. And a strip by Fiddler. Lax to the rim. Goaltended by Jefferson, but no call. Harding in transition. 4 3. Drew Stutz wants a timeout. And now a foul called on CBC. Drew Stutz is frustrated with the officials for the first time because this sequence was a five point swing. CBC ended up with a transition three from Harding. But you can see from our angle very clearly that was a goaltend at the other end on the lane layup that was blocked athletically by Jefferson, but illegally. Also checking in number 12, Devin Foster. Lax gets the first free throw, and we can look at the uh, potential goaltend. Yeah, you can see it comes off the glass twice there. Lax splits the pair. Fried Hardeman is wavered just a little bit from the foul line down the stretch. After a really good start, the Lions made 12 of their first 13 at the stripe. Since then, just five of nine. Harding air balls, and it's out of bounds to Fried Hardeman with 2.39 to go. It's so a little bit surprising as well to see in this day referees ever not give, as Jefferson gets there but steps on the sideline, to see referees uh, ever not give a goaltend because that's what allows them to review it. You can't stop the play and review after a goaltend isn't given. So if anything, this season at all levels of college basketball, we've seen probably too many goaltends called because officials know that that's the one circumstance where they can then go check it and get it right either way. If they're not sure. Here's Fiddler. Straight down the middle. He's fouled. Double bonus for Fried Hardeman. So Fiddler will shoot two. And Tanjay Durham is fouled out. 11 points in 18 really good minutes. The foul is really the only knock on the performance from Durham in this game. He racked him up quickly. But he was efficient. He contributed on the glass, played some good defense. Just a few too many fouls kept him from playing more minutes. Fiddler missed the first one by a wide margin. And he misses both. Horton after the rebound. It was tipped up inadvertently off the rim by Smith, who nearly scored on his own basket. A couple more Lions free throw misses. Foster off on the three, rebound tipped out of bounds. Last off of Freed Hardeman. Central Baptist has gone a little bit deeper into the bench with Dalton Alexander III, the freshman. Transfer from Nichols State out of Louisiana on the floor for the first time. Jefferson got a step on Horton, went for the big throw down and a foul. Devon Jefferson has been anything but shy since coming on the floor. I think he's grabbed hold of the rim at least twice, maybe three times. Even if he hasn't always had the ball when he gets there, but a foul on Lax. Tax the offensive glass really hard. You gotta love the energy you've seen from Jefferson. He gets one of two, offensive rebound, and the stick back by the freshman Alexander. So Jefferson and Alexander have brought some really nice energy for Central Baptist off the bench. A couple of underclassmen, Jefferson a sophomore.
Lax to the rim, through Jefferson and a foul. They both went down hard. Everybody's up. Get another look at a big time collision at the rim. And from a Jefferson standpoint, maybe you'd rather not land underneath Blacks, but if you're gonna commit the foul, might as well knock that ball loose, make sure it doesn't get up on top of the rim. Lax gets both, so Fred Hardeman back to a little bit of its early game free throw shooting. Still, the Lions are right around their average for the season. In fact, right at it, 73%. Jefferson, call it a three. Rebound to Skurlock, 75 seconds to go. Lax works inside. Fiddler thought about a three. Skurlock with four to the rim. Knocked loose from behind by Smith. Horton follows and he's fouled by Foster. Mustang foul charge. That's a Smith personal foul. That's all for Foster. He is fouled out of the game. Also checking in number 25. Horton will shoot free throws. He is three out of four at the line in the game. Nine points, five rebounds in 13 minutes. He's been active. Drew Stunts and the Lions, 48 seconds away. Horton gets the second to drop in. Fried Hardeman can clear out the bench a little bit. Step back three from Harding is good. Timeout called by Sam Conkey, his last one, with 39.1 seconds to go. Got to give credit to the Mustangs on multiple fronts. Number one, they have kept fighting in this game, and they have closed the deficit from as many as 26 down to 13. And on top of that, most importantly, no matter what happens in this game, it has been the best season in the history of Central Baptist basketball, and that will not be forgotten. But it's also been the best season in the history of Fried Hardeman basketball, and the Lions will move on to the Fab Four for the first time with a chance to keep it rolling. They will play the winner of our next game, top-seeded Grace, which looked dominant in ultimately a 16-point win over Northwestern that felt more like a 25- or 30-point win. And 15th seeded Evangel, which I think stretched its lead to 20 at one point against Lewis Clark State, led by 17 at the break, and held on to win by three. School from Springfield will have plenty of fans here. Then Langston and Indiana Wesleyan, one against two in the Dewar quadrant. And we will close out the night with the defending champions, College of Idaho, top seed in the Liston quadrant against third seeded Morningside. Lane gets it over the timeline. Fried Hardeman will use whatever they can on the clock. They'll have to put up one more shot. Dalton Colbert handles out high. Colbert with four to shoot. Step back three on the way. Nearly went down, and I think the Fried Hardeman bench wanted that one badly. Smith brings it into the front court with five seconds, attacks the rim and dunks it with 1.9. And that will be the final margin. For the first time in school history, the Freed Hardeman Lions are headed to the Fab Four. 
Drew Stutz and FHU came up short in the round of 16 against Grace last year. They might well be headed for a one seed against one seed rematch with the Lancers on Monday night. 85-74 the final score. Freed Hardeman over Central Baptist. The Mustangs deserve a ton of credit for their run here. Their great comeback on Thursday. The best season in school history. Their first ever trip to Kansas City, let alone to the quarterfinals. Ends in an 11 point loss to top seeded Freed Hardeman. And the Lions move on. Our first team into the Fab Four. We go from eight down to seven, and still all the one seeds are alive. We'll take a break and return with you. You'll have to move over on the NAI YouTube channel to the Grace Against Evangel game that is coming up next. Top seeded Grace, 15 seeded Evangel, the lowest seeded team left in the field. In fact, the lowest seeded team to make it to Kansas City ever. Coming up against Grace, that'll be over on the Grace versus Evangel game. You'll have to go to the NAI YouTube page and click on that game. Thank you so much for being with us for this game. 85-74, Freed Hardman takes down Central Baptist. Nick Gatter saying, see you in 20 minutes.